Hello everyone, welcome back to another Wednesday update. So uh, before we start, yes, today I am wearing pink hair. Um, I was in disguise from a club oops, last night when I logged off and um, it's a long story but it's fine. Is that one of the new horses back there? It is. Okay, we're gonna turn around. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, anyway, that's why I have pink hair. I mean, I don't know, I like the pink hair, but I feel like black hair is still my go-to. I don't know, I just love my black hair. But, um, anyways, welcome to today's update. It's rather exciting because we have two more horses. Um, I know that that's not exciting for some people. We are here in Moorland because there is a new item in the Lifetime Star Rider shop, which is what we're gonna firstly go and check out because I like to check this stuff out. Hopefully it's an okay item. I don't know how I feel about them. Alright, well, it's a saddlebag. I guess it's alright. It's fine. It's free. We can't complain. Oh my gosh. So I'm kind of happy, oh, well here's the saddlebag if you guys wanted to see it I guess. <laughs> but um, today I have uh, had two exams so I'm kind of happy that we have horses because as you guys know we all love a bit of retail therapy so um yeah. Oh yeah by the way we're riding to Fort Pinter Beach which is where Gary Goldtooth has the two magical horses which are out. I can't remember their names but I'll let you guys know in just a second. I don't really know where he is, so I'm just assuming that he's where he was with the, oh gosh, with the other horses. Yep, okay, definitely over here when the two water horses, sea horses were at. Okay, okay, okay. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should totally check it out. Just another pixel on the Instagram, same as my YouTube. But um, I said that I didn't really like the pink horse, but I think all the times that I've seen it posted... I think I kind of like it now. I don't know if you guys also watched the making an outfit with my most hated item. Then you know that I'm not a big fan of pink, especially hot pink. Like, I cannot do hot pink. But I feel like this horse just looks okay. But uh, I still don't know if I'm going to buy it. I probably will because they're a limited time horse. Oh my gosh. Wait, let me try and get everyone to go away. Um... If you don't know my little trick if you click on the horse and then you click escape and then click the o button or photo mode straight away then look everyone goes away and you can get a good old look at the horse look at the detail on this horse like oh my gosh wow i love the little feather details hang on a second i think it's mirrored yeah i think it's they're definitely mirrored but i guess that kind of makes sense for a bird are birds usually mirrored? I don't even know, but they are mirrored. But I guess because mirrored horses don't annoy me unless it's a pinto. And I think it kind of works for this horse because like everything's equal. I'm sorry if you can hear the trumpet in the background. I swear he plays that stupid trumpet at the wrong time. <laughs> Always when I have to film or something. But um, actually, I kind of like the pink one. And I don't know if I should. <laughs> But um, I think we are going to buy the uh, the brown one, the um, blue one first. But this horse's name is Solas. Solas. And then um, we have the uh, blue one over here, which is called Dorka. Um, I say Dorka maybe because of Italian, because C-H-A is car. Um, it could be Dorcha, though. But I'm just going to say Dorka, because I think it's really cute. And um, I actually might keep that as the nickname. Oh my gosh, wait, I actually love- Oh my god, I just like- I've been looking at the name this entire time that I just looked at the horse. Oh, it's so pretty! <gasps> I love this one so much! Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I actually love this horse. So we're gonna go ahead and buy this horse. They are 850 star coins. And I have a name- that is lovely to that person over there. Honestly, appreciate the hard work. Someone put hard work into this. Like, I'm sorry. But um, I already kind of have a name, so hopefully I can um, actually pick that as a name. In fact, I think I've just forgotten it. I think I just forgot the name. Okay, I remembered it. It's fine. I remembered it. <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? Oh my, I'm trying not to yell because it can make the microphone spike. And because I don't have a pop filter, I'm working on it, you guys. But um... I wanted to call it ocean blue and blue is not an option. <laughs> no! Oh, I really liked the name ocean blue but I guess we can name it along the lines of Dorka because I actually really like the name Dorka so I think I'm gonna go with that. 
I agree with this person back here who said um the pink doesn't look as bad in the photo but it's still a bit bright for me. I definitely think it doesn't look as bad as it did in the photo but I think I'm still gonna buy it because I'm actually kind of growing on it and I think that we can make the pink work. I know that this is probably a terrible name but I'm kind of looking at Dark River because it's like kind of like Dorka, Dark River. I mean it's a bird and I'm naming it like an ocean. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna name this horse Dark River aka Dorka. I know it might not be the best name, but I think I'm just gonna go with it. Um, but yeah, welcome home Dorka. I know it's kind of lame that I'm using Star Stable's name, but I think it's just really cute. So, um, yeah, that's, that's with that. Oh, oh, Victory Rear, Victory Rear, there we go. Your new horse is now in your stable, thank you. Oh, Bubbles is here, Bubbles, 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 okay. God damn it, Bubbles, you should know by now. <laughs> oh, Bubbles, okay. We are in a group with Bubbles now. My club <laughs> got so mad at me. Because it's like I'm favorita favoritizing. I'm favoriting Bubbles, but Bubbles and I are friends. And I'm sorry, club, that you guys just weren't good enough. <laughs> that was so much meaner than I intended it to be. Hello to the person who is talking to me that I can't talk to hello jasmine dolphin hurricane i'm so sorry that i can't talk to you right now but i'm in the name chatty thing um i'm so sorry i could be like really really original please note the sarcasm and call this horse butterfly like for some reason the name barbie just crossed my mind i was like i'm gonna nickname this horse barbie why am i kind of digging it though i just came up with a really cool idea for a name um <laughs> i'm gonna call this horse mariposa um basically barbie butterfly <laughs> butterfly barbie but um yeah i'm gonna call this horse mariposa and i don't think there's any star stable names like that which kind of sucks but i'm gonna look anyway otherwise we're just gonna call it butterfly and i'm gonna have to remember that the barbie butterfly is called mariposa <laughs> Alright, so I've come up with the name Melody Princess. It kind of sucks, but Melody Princess aka Mariposa. It's kind of a bad Jorvik name, but I think that's a Star Stable problem and not a me problem. No tea. I don't mean I don't mean to be mean to Star Stable. I love this game with all of my heart. Please make me a Star Stable ambassador. Um, yay, we made we oh my gosh, what have I done? It's fine. So, um, along with these horses, there is actually, um, can I please, two birds. They cost 400 star coins each. There's a little birdie here that goes with, oops, Solas. Solas, Solas, Solas. Then the other one's over here. Oh, all by its loans himself. And this one goes with Dorka. So, um, yeah, this is, these are the birds, but, um, I actually did the bad, bad. And Star Stable has a special deal that if you spend 2,000 or 5,000, or if you if you spend, if you buy 2,000 or 5,000 Starcoin bundles, then you get the two little flying birds for free. So that's almost another thousand Star Coins. That's 800 Star Coins, um, extra with the same amount of money. So um, I kind of needed to stock up with Star Coins anyway because you guys are make me making me buy a lot of horses. And um, I kind of, oh my god, <laughs> there's so many Star Stable gifts, oops. Um, you guys, I have a really cool idea, but it could end up costing me a lot of Star Coins. So we're getting the uh, bird and the owl, and um, I've been, I haven't done Ferris Quest. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have not done Ferris Quest because I have not had any time. School has been drowning me but um yeah so um i don't know where i was going with that i actually cannot remember oh yeah so now i have an owl without doing ferris quest and it's a pretty blue owl so you know that's fun but um uh, before we check out all of the birds and stuff we're gonna head back to my home stable so we can check out the horses too yeah let's go <laughs> i just got so scared that my microphone wasn't recording oh my god imagine if that happened i think i would like cry Alright, so we have Dorka and we have Mariposa. Where's Mariposa? There she is. We have the two horses here. My hair like almost matches with Mariposa, but it's like light pink, so it actually looks bad. But um, I'm really- hey look, it's Bubbles! Hi! But um, I'm, we're probably gonna ride- you know what, let's ride Mariposa first. Because um... I, I don't know why, we're just gonna ride on Mariposa first. 
and okay you love the names thank you so much bubbles um the thing that actually gets me about these horses isn't the magic coats it's actually the plain coats i think that the plain coats are too magical i think that they should have gotten rid of the mane style i think they should have just done a plain mane that is my opinion maybe done it so it was optional to have the little magic thing in fact um that hurt oh <laughs> i don't know what she did i think i can show you guys that's not the right button in the global store but as you guys can see this horse has the little blue markings in the hair and like feathers and stuff i think they should have made this optional because to me i just don't really like it i think it's like controlling my outfit too much i have to choose something around blue um so yeah blue and pink which is kind of annoying but i'm gonna go ahead and make an outfit with a mariposa this is gonna be easier said than done i reckon she's stuck <laughs> Let me help. Oh, oh, she's free. She's free. She's free. Yay. <laughs> okay, so I finished up the outfit for Mariposa and um, I kind of went for the blue. I decided to bring out the blue accents in her mane and in her tail and it just kind of sucks. I, I feel like with this horse, you can only really wear like blue or black and white or just black because... um. If you wear pink, I feel like it's too overpowering. And if you wear any other colors, there's too much color going on. But maybe I'm just crazy. But this is the outfit. Um, I could probably change like the shirt to maybe something darker. Hang on, let me see if that works. <laughs> oh, OG Star Stable. Oh my gosh. Kind of tempted though. Like it's OG Star Stable who couldn't. Oh my god, I really want to do that. I mean, it's Jojo Siwa or OG Star Stable. And we're going for the OG Star Stable because it's pretty. All right. So this is our beautiful outfit with um, Mariposa, which we will see a little bit more in the, um, in the montage that I always do. But first, let's check out the bird which goes with her. Oh my gosh, it's really pretty. I really love the seagulls. I think they're so pretty. Let's bring her out into glory. Oh my gosh, she's actually really pretty. I really like her. And um, oh wow, super pretty, super pretty. Um, but yeah, this is the this is Mariposa, aka Solus, um, for you guys who want the technical names of the horses. And this is her pretty bird. And let's uh let's get on. I've already forgotten her name. Um, Da Daka, 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 okay, <laughs> Daka, it's Daka, okay, I actually love this horse, I think it's really pretty, let's check out the um, natural coat in here, I didn't want to kick bubbles out, which is why I'm not leaving the home stable, see, at least this one's like, in the non-magic form, I have more freedom because like this is just an oddly bluey gray color, which we can kind of overlook. But I just really wish that you had a choice between a normal Irish cob mane and the pretty ones that these horses have. But now I'm going to struggle to find another outfit. All right, so here is the second outfit. We are all finished with Dorka, not um, Daka. <laughs> And um, I actually really like this outfit, I'm not going to lie. I actually really like the blues here. I think it's very much my aesthetic in a way. And um, we're going to check out the little owl. I haven't looked at owls in the game except for people riding by. Okay, the owl's pretty. I think it's a little bit lighter than the horse's coat, which is interesting. But um, oh my god, it was doing like a little shake. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so cute. Let's, um. okay, that's the wrong button. That's also the wrong button. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm always going to tell you guys my honest opinion. I think that the owls, when they're stationary, look a little weird. I think it needs to flap its, its wings. And its wings, like... I don't know. There's just something off about it. Like, they don't exist when you go to this angle. And then they do when you come up here. Like, I don't know. I love Star Stable, as I've said before. But, um yeah there's something just off about this like the birds just too still it should flap its wings a bit 
and I love how Bubbles is just chilling under the the owl and um if you guys you guys totally need to let me know some names for whoops a date no one saw that no one saw that no one saw that um <laughs> <laughs> thank you bubbles thank you so much um you guys need to let me know in the comments below some names for our little owl and bird friends but um we're gonna go outside and check out the non-magic forms of these horse you did it too bubbles i saw that you did it too um and uh, we're gonna check out the non-magic forms like in the game and then we're gonna do <laughs> she did it again she did it again <laughs> and then we are going to do a special montage so let's just uh, go outside the home stable sorry bubbles but you're gonna have to leave you're gonna have to leave i'm sorry all right so this is the horse out in the open it looks a little bit bluish gray which is kind of interesting I'm actually not too sure about my outfit right now because I feel like the blue is too bright for like this oddly bluey gray color on the mane. But I don't want to complain too much about this horse because I actually love the magic form and I'm sure someone worked very hard on this horse. But um, I don't know, there's just something off about it. Maybe it's the mistful lighting. I actually don't like the lighting of mistful. But um, yeah, so this is Dorka. Same movements as the Irish Cobb, so you guys should already know those movements and stuff. You don't need to see me um, go through all the movements because we've seen it all before. And um, let's get on uh, Mariposa. Alright, so I feel like this horse might be a little bit more interesting. It's a nice brownie colour. It could also be because it's really dark in the game. Not really dark, but it's like dusk kind of in the game. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I definitely like this coat better. This coat's very pretty. Um, I think the blue is going well, but now the bird just kind of looks out of place. Like, I'm trying not to complain, but definitely, like, actually, you guys, if I, um, if I, oh, the the blue one's on the other pet. The, <laughs> the blue owl is on Dorka. But, um, but, um, see, this, this owl would actually look pretty good with this outfit because it's blue and blue. So, um, yeah, that's my opinion. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the little montage now and I'm gonna try something different for it. So let me know what you guys think of it. But, um, yeah let's just go ahead and do a little montage of these beautiful bird horses bird horses yes bird horses everyone in ireland legend says butterflies can cross over from the human world to the other world on Yulvik, that other place has a different name pandoria and it is a rare breed of magic horse not butterflies who cross over Bright as the break of dawn, Solus is said to pass between this world and another, a reality that lies in tandem with Jorvik, a place of pink skies and floating islands, glowing mushrooms and panda rays. They reach this other world through the winding cave systems hidden deep under Jorvik. Their time spent in the pink unreality has affected Solus' metabolism, giving them boundless energy. Jumping between floating islands has also made them surprisingly fleet-footed. Their name comes from the Irish word for brightness and illumination, much like the horse's vibrant coat and personality. Solus' coat has many eyes that closely resemble a peacock's feathers. Your Vegan storytellers allude this to the peacock butterfly, passing between worlds as the legends tell. Like other magic horses in Jorvik, Solus shows its true colours in wild places and will conceal its appearance in populated areas. Whether in its magical form or disguised to blend in with other horses, Solus rides just like the Irish cob it most resembles. Dark as the night, Dorka is known as the guardian of the caves. They are the skittish short, rarely coming to the surface and avoiding the pink cracks that break through the cave floors, unlike their purple-maned counterparts. Traversing the dim caverns has given Dorka excellent spatial awareness, but they can be agitated in open fields as they're used to the narrow caverns. Stories say that if a traveller gets lost in the winding caves, Dorka will help, guiding them to the surface but stopping just short of the light. The name comes from the Irish word for darkness and mystery, alluding to the temperament of this shy and enigmatic creature.
creature. Alright everyone, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to let me know in the comments below if you are planning on buying one of the new pets or one of the new horses. Remember these horses and pets are limited time only, so you might not be able to get them. I think they leave in two weeks, but it might be one week. I think it's two weeks though, but um, yeah, make sure you guys uh, run in and grab them if you can, if you want to. Uh, let me know your opinions of them down in the comments below. Remember, constructive criticism. We um we have to appreciate the work that Star Stable does do because some people do like it. Like, I actually genuinely do like, uh, sorry, someone's just like talking to me. Oh, they said sorry for disturbing. No, it's fine. And, um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe because that is a free way of supporting me. Some exciting news, which some of you might not understand, is with uh, my Google AdSense, I've been monetized on YouTube for a couple of months now. And um, so I have been earning money, but the money doesn't go into your account until once a month. And you also have to verify your address. But because I live in Australia, it took a long time to get to me. Um, but it's finally come. So I haven't actually earned any money from YouTube yet. It's all been like sitting in a way around. Is my, my cat's meowing? Hang on. Anyways, basically, finally, the code to verify my address finally got to me, which means on the next payday, I will be able to get some money from um, you guys just watching ads on my video. So thank you guys so much for supporting the channel in that way. And it also means that I might do another giveaway because I'll have some more money to give to you guys. But um, yeah, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Sorry I'm out of breath. Like, I was just <laughs> playing with Milo. <laughs> But anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, then remember to like, subscribe, we've already done that, okay? Uh, but I hope you guys are having an awesome day, or have had an awesome day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Hopefully this video made your day just a little bit better. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Bye!